The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Hello, I'm Jeremy Boychin, Agronomy Research Extension Manager with the Alberta Wheat and Alberta Barley Commissions. We are back with another Wheat School with realagriculture.com. We are here in central Alberta in a wheat field. Things are looking dry and hot, so we are waiting for rain. But we are here to talk about fungicide application on wheat. When should we be applying it? And how do we know we should be applying it? So first off, let's run through the scenarios of when could we potentially be applying a fungicide. There's a few different options where we're either already going over the field or we know there's potential value to applying a fungicide. So herbicide timing, PGR timing, flag leaf timing, or head timing. These are the four times where either we're already going over or there's potential value. And the research we've seen in Western Canada, in Alberta, and parts of the Northern US where application of a fungicide at that herbicide timing, so early timing or PGR timing at that tiller timing, is really not providing a value for our yield or quality. What we see specifically with that PGR timing and research that Dr. Sherry Stridehorse has done in Alberta is that when we apply that fungicide at PGR timing, we actually will see a slight decrease in the amount of foliar disease on that crop. However, when we take that to the end, to the yield, it doesn't actually provide any yield benefit. And when it comes to fungicide at uh, herbicide timing, we don't see a uh, reduction in leaf disease and we don't see an increase in yield. So those two options generally are not gonna provide a benefit for your wheat crop. So looking at your flag leaf timing or your head timing are the two best options when it comes to getting the most out of your fungicide application. And going back to that research that Dr. Sherry Stridehorse did, so there's eight locations in Alberta looking at uh, AC Brandon uh, and Viewfield and assessing what the impacts of different fungicide timing had on yield of those crops. Um, they did it at eight site years and at four site years, they actually had a response. So those other four site years, there was actually no response to a fungicide application on that wheat. And we'll keep that in mind as we go through this because not every year we're gonna go to a response to PGRs, but in those years we did see a response. It was the flag leaf and head timing where we did see a benefit of a fungicide application. Around 10 to 11 bushels added on to that crop when we applied a, a fungicide at those two timings compared to no real benefit at the PGR and herbicide timing for those locations that saw a response. So we know we wanna be applying at either flag leaf or head timing. And when we know that, then we can start to ask the questions, are we in the environmental situation for us to be applying a fungicide? And we have to ask our, ourselves a few questions there and we'll go back to the disease triangle. I'm sure everyone has heard this before, but we need the pathogen, we need the environment, and we need the host. We have the pathogen in our field, Typically, it's going to be waiting there with the rotations that we have, sometimes at different levels, depending on the rotation that you have. So do we have the environment? Do we have that moisture? Do we have that rain? And also, do we have that yield potential to be taking and applying a fungicide to protect that yield as well? So what happens is generally we want to be aiming for that four to six inches of rain by that June timing getting into June. Um, that's typically where we start to see more disease development. Again, depending on your rotation, shorter rotations, we may see more disease development. And we wanna be seeing that disease actually moving up the canopy as we're getting into that flag leaf timing. So scouting, scouting, scouting is gonna be so important. Going in multiple times and asking the question of, is this disease moving up the canopy and should I be protecting those yield bearing leaves which is the penultimate leaf and majorly in the wheat crop is going to be the the flag leaf um, so if we see that disease and that foliar disease moving up the crop canopy and starting to uh, jump on to our penultimate and flag leaf we want to make sure we're getting out there and protecting our crop if we feel like the yield potential is there and the forecast is looking like we're going to continue to have wet conditions so once we assess that, and once we know that we're getting into those situations where we should apply, 
those are the situations where we're likely going to see a better response out of our fungicide applications. And as I mentioned with Dr. Sherry Stride Horse's research, there's going to be situations where we just don't see the moisture and we don't see the disease pressure where a fungicide application is going to provide a benefit. So then we ask the question of should I be applying it flag leaf or should I be applying it head timing? And ge in general, what we saw with Dr. Sherry Stride Horse's research is that these can balance out and we're, we're, if we delay to that head timing application, specifically if we're concerned about fusarium head blight, and this is gonna depend on your field history and what you've seen for fusarium head blight on your field, delaying to that fusarium head blight timing for a fungicide application can have equal yield benefit in a disease situation as compared to applying it flag leaf. So aiming for those two different timings is gonna depend on either your foliar leaf disease pressure or your fusarium head blight pressure and where you wanna mitigate risk on your crop. And then you ask the question of, should I maybe be applying at both timings? And in general, what we've seen is, although we see a bit of a disease decrease when we do do applications at both timings, the economic return of doing that is not worth it. So you have to make a decision on where the biggest risk is for your field, for your farm, and target one or two of those timings.